So to show you that YouTube automation isn't some fancy pipe dream and that people are actually doing this and monetizing channels extremely well, I compiled a short list here of several channels that I found that are using both YouTube automation, making money in the form of ad revenue and other ways, right? So we'll cover ways that they monetize and I'll cover some examples of other people currently doing this on YouTube right now, making an absolute killing. So the first one is Charisma On Command. Uh, this one right here, you can see just how many views they're getting. Last video they dropped two days ago, almost one, uh, 150,000 views a few days ago, um, you know, a few weeks ago. And they're staying relatively close to around 300,000 or 400,000 views with a few videos here and there popping off. So if you listen to one of their videos, you can see it's just a voiceover with overlaid graphics, just like the YouTube automation business is. Just like that between Andrew Tate and Piers Morgan to show you. See, they're just overlaying video graphics with a voiceover. They wrote a script and they're reading the script. Now, for Charisma On Command specifically, I know that one of the guys actually does read the script, so they don't outsource that. But again, you don't have to outsource any portions of this business. You can do it all yourself, and there's ways that you can automate the entire process super easily as well. You can outsource it, you can automate it, or you can do it yourself. All three of those are options. Then you'll also see they monetize in the description by selling their course right here. So we click on their university, they literally sell an, a membership uh, and enrollment into their online university, and that's how they monetize. If you look at Social Blade, which is basically just a way that you can kind of gauge how successful a channel is or how successful someone is doing and make, how much money their channel is actually making, uh, you can see here that their estimated monthly earnings are 2.5,000 to 40,000 roughly. And I can promise you just from looking at this from like other creators that I know, and from looking at this, uh, when you look at like the, the gauge on my channel, all of these are extremely low on social blade. Okay. So typically it's not, it might not always be up towards the upper threshold, but it's way closer to the upper threshold than it is to the bottom. I promise you my YouTube channel, my main one right now pulls in about $2,000 in ad revenue every single month. And I think they have me reported at like $500 a month, which is ridiculous. So this isn't just something that, you know, is going to happen on these channels. This happens across the board. Social blade constantly under reports. Okay. So these people are making an absolute killing monthly with the YouTube automation channel, and I'm sure they're making an absolute killing getting people into their online course. So Charisma on Command, the next one is Fight Mediocrity. Now you can see they're doing the same thing, 1.83 uh, million subscribers. They get decent amount of views on videos. They're pumping out YouTube automation videos. You can see nothing crazy here, thumbnails, simple thumbnails, not that clickable, but it works for them. If you listen. Open the and swing slow. Literally just a voiceover on video graphics that are overlaid with clips and text. All this stuff is stuff that you're going to learn in this course, right? This one that they just dropped recently got 50,000, but that's a little bit low for their average. If you look at in the uh, description, you can see they're not only monetizing through the form of YouTube ad revenue but they're also monetizing through an audiobook that they sell themselves. And they're also monetized through affiliate links. Here they're recommending a therapy session. So I'm sure that this is an affiliate link of some kind. As you can see at the end, um, Fight Mediocrity is an affiliate link or probably the book that they sell. Fight Mediocrity, again, is at the end of this link. So it's probably an affiliate link. And then you can see that they recommend top books. All of these are Amazon affiliate links that if somebody clicks and purchases through, they get a commission. So they're monetized not just through ad revenue, but through a number of other ways as well. And they're making an absolute killing. Now, for whatever reason, when I, I keep searching for Fight Mediocrity's YouTube earnings, it doesn't pop up. Although when I looked at some of their videos, they were monetized. So um, what could be the case here is maybe they don't have monetization turned on. Maybe they, maybe they don't have ads turned on on their channel and just YouTube is putting ads on their channel anyway. And YouTube's collecting it because in the new update, YouTube released, they're allowed to put ads on any channel that they want, even if that, that channel is not uh, monetized. So YouTube might just collect the revenue on that channel. So that could be what's happening. Or it could just be a social blade error here with the estimated earnings. I'm really not sure. That's the first time I've seen anything like that. So my guess is probably they just have ads turned off because they monetize in other ways and they don't really want ads on their videos, but that's just a guess. It also, like I said, could be a social blade error. The next channel is Athletic Interest and these people are doing very well too. They literally just dropped the video four minutes ago, but their videos typically get just under 100,000. And then, you know, obviously they can go upwards. You see a few here hitting millions. So these are making an absolute killing. Now the sports um, right here, like the sports niche is going to have a low CPM. So CPM is cost per million and RPM is basically how much you make per million views, right? So 
when I'm saying RPM or CPM, it just means that how much each view is worth and how much you get paid per each view, right? A high CPM, a high RPM channel, for example, is like e-commerce or make money online. Like my main YouTube channel is based on that's going to have roughly anywhere from like $60 CPMs and $30 RPMs. A channel like this, for example, a sports channel is going to have much lower CPMs, much lower RPMs, maybe even $5 uh, per thousand views or $10 per thousand views. A gaming channel is going to be even lower. It's going to be three. So the niche matters because ultimately it just depends on what type of sponsors and what type of brands are able to put ads on those videos. If you have brands like e-commerce uh, companies or brands like marketing companies that are going to put ads on e-commerce videos, if you're e-commerce channel, you're going to get a higher CPM rather than uh, if you're a gaming channel, for example, because there's only a, you know, a select number of games and they can't pay as much for ads, right? Because ads are bidding. So just keep that in mind. The niche matters. You'll get paid more, you know, if you pick a high CPM or high RPM niche. And if you want to pick uh, one of those, just Google what the highest ones are. There's a number of them out there. So if we look at some of their videos, again, let's just play this. One champion, but is he really the best racing driver in the world? The winner of the 100 meters. Of again, um, the Again, nothing crazy here. They're literally just overlaying video graphics on a voiceover with some text that flashes across the screen. So they clearly are monetized, as you can see the ad here. Um, if we look in the description, it doesn't look like this channel is using any affiliate links or try. Oh, never mind. I see it right here. So NordVPN, they're recommending Nord NordVPN, which obviously is like a private server. So there's an affiliate link right there. They must be making a lot from NordVPN because it's literally the first thing that they promote in all of their videos. This could also be a brand sponsorship as well, right? NordVPN could literally be paying them to put this at the top as the link in all their videos, and they might just be getting a brand sponsorship deal. I actually just signed my first brand sponsorship deal um, on my YouTube channel for $1,000, literally just to put the link, to create a video on it, like a, a simple tutorial, and put the link at the top of the video. So that's probably what's going on here, and they have this in all of their videos, so they're probably making a pretty decent penny off NordVPN for every video that they create, not to mention the ad revenue here on this video or on this channel. So you can see if we look at athletic interest, again, their CPM is going to be relatively low. Um, their monthly earnings are $300 to about 5,000. I would venture to assume with the, the channel that that size and the views that they're getting, they're probably making on the upper end of this, maybe not 5,000, but maybe $4,000 literally for those simple videos of overlaying graphics and reading a voiceover. Another one, free investing here. This one has decent thumbnails that are obviously eye popping and, and kind of, you know, grab your attention and are clickable. So same thing with this channel, just video graphics and a voiceover or clipping other people's speeches and video clips of what they're saying in specific interviews and kind of meshing them together super quickly. If we look at the description here, it doesn't look like they're monetized through any affiliate links. But if we check Social Blade, it looks like they're making about 1.2 thousand every month to 19 thousand every month. So it's probably on the upper echelon of this. Maybe we'll call it 15 thousand every month in ad revenue from free investing. And one more, finally, right here, real life lore, um, kind of cool, random topics. It looks like they get millions of views every single video, and they're absolutely crushing it. I've never even seen this niche. It looks like global kind of issues that are going on. Um, so if we look at some of their videos. 12th of September, as the Rajani troops and artillery opened fire and began attacking Armenian positions all across their mutual border here. The fighting between them lasted for a couple of days and left... Again, just a voiceover with some video graphics. Now, these are definitely some cool video graphics. They might have, you know, used a program to create this, or maybe they're, like, looking at, like, a world map and kind of highlighting some things. Um, but literally nothing special here, just a voiceover and some video graphics. Now, if we look at their description, it looks like, again, they're recommending NordVPN. So again, probably a brand deal here. At the very least, it, well, you can see at the end, it's literally real life lore. So it's clearly an affiliate link, but probably definitely a brand deal. I bet NordVPN pays creators like this all the time to just put their link at the top of videos. So they're probably making a killing from that link. Now, if we look at their social blade, they are making 4.4 to $70,000 a month in just ad revenue alone. That doesn't count NordVPN affiliate link clicks. That doesn't click, count any other ways that they're monetizing their videos. That doesn't count any brand deals that they get. They're probably making at least, I would say, probably 40 to 50, probably even closer to the upper echelon there. Again, they're getting an absolute 
just a ridiculous number of views every single video. So this channel is absolutely crushing it. So there's a few examples of other channels monetized right now doing this YouTube automation business. It doesn't take a lot. It's not easy, but it is very, very simple. You just need three things and we'll cover all of that. You just need a script, a voiceover, and then video graphics, just like all these channels. And you too can have a successful channel like this if you're willing to put the consistent work in and upload consistently.